I really believe that um, the window that we always talk about that you're in, I'm not saying give up the number 17 pick for something that doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. I'm saying if you could flip it for a player that's going to help you next year specifically and can address a need that you have, um, I'm flipping it. And that, that's what I'm doing with that number 17 pick. Let me give you an example. Remember when John was sitting here and was talking about, we are talking about Chris Paul, and he was saying, hey, if you trade for Chris Paul, would you give up Malik Beasley, Mo Bamba, and that number 17 pick to go get Chris Paul, right? That was if you trade for Chris Paul. My mm -hmm. answer to that is no. But you, you, you can get him for less? Or if somebody else wants to trade him and take $30 million of your salary, then go get him. I just don't think, I, I, don't, I would not do that with Chris Paul. But if you're telling me you could trade Malik Beasley, who you clearly did not use over the course of the last... Didn't work. Didn't work. Mo Bamba, who doesn't sound like he's part of your future anyways, and that number 17 pick, but you got Dorian Finney-Smith from the Brooklyn Nets, the guy that was with Dallas that's a 3 and D player, more of a 2, but he's a really good shooter and he plays really good defense... Trav, I think you really got to pay attention to the window that you're in. I'm not saying that there isn't value to that number 17 pick. I'm just saying there's going to be a life without LeBron James, and when it comes, you kind of have to address it then. What do you think of what Bill Platchkey wrote today, which is trade Lakers should trade the 17th pick and get a veteran player they can use right now so he can play next to LeBron? Um, I am going to be honest and say that I think it's time to develop some talent. Uh, the Lakers did so well with uh, second-round picks like Kyle Kuzma. They found gems. Kuzma was a first-round pick. Oh, first-round pick. 28th they, pick. They yeah. found oh, – that's, that's a – Max Christie's a second-round pick. Second-round pick. Yeah. Uh, they found guys in the second round. I think that's the way to Austin use that Austin Reeves pick. was undrafted. Correct, correct. Yeah. They're good at identifying talent, and I think it's smart to get somebody young in there who's cost-controlled while they try to sign everybody else. So according mm -hmm. to Jovan Buha, our guy from The Athletic, they are trying to – trade back and get more picks like get a later pick in the first round and maybe pick up a couple seconds um look they need cost controlled bodies and you need to have a lot of if there's anything to take away from these finals this past season um is like when you look at miami and all the undrafted players or whatever and denver guys like bruce brown were second round picks right like they're there's a lot of guys in that. Christian Braun was the 21st pick. Yeah. Like, there's guys to be had later in the first and in the second and undrafted, and you got to mine that talent, man. Credit to the Bus Brothers, Joey and Jesse. They do an excellent job with their scouting department finding guys like that that can help their team that are underdeveloped or under overlooked in the late rounds. And if you could trade the 17th pick and you're getting two, three back, do it because whoever they draft at 17, George, isn't going to be an impact player for you right now. Right. But you can develop, you can build. And what's one of the things we say about the Lakers? The lack of depth that they have. Right? They don't have. They don't have it well, at all. And they you don't need, have any bodies. And, right. And if you're going to be like most NBA teams that are contenders are top heavy mm -hmm. salary wise, you need cheap labor. Yeah. You need guys that are cost controlled and guys who you control their contracts for at least two or three years.